to react because someone finds that situation very sensitive to them. Everyone is an individual. So if you're going to walk around like this woman here and you're going to antagonize people and whine everyone up, and someone reacts, let me finish, and someone reacts, why are you surprised by it? There's going to be ignorant people. There's going to be ignorant people in every place that you go, everywhere, whether they're Muslim, Christian, or Hindu, doesn't matter. But when you antagonize people and they react, why would you be surprised by the reaction? But why can't you back it? It's common words. sense. No. But why do you have to be from? Brother, listen to me. This is. This is. Back it all right. I, I know what you're, I know what you're asking for. You're asking for the back of words. Yeah. If I came to you and I said to you, your mum is this, yeah. your mum is that, okay. you don't know me for this. Your mum is this, your mum is that, your mum is that. And then you try to hit her. Someone's going to turn around and say, don't worry, brother. What did you expect? You're insulting me. What do you mean? If you say to me, if you say to me, if you say to me, my mom is a hoe. There's two things that are happening there. It's either you're lying or my mom is actually a hoe. And now if I know you speak, I know you speak. Your I'm, I'm using is the devil. I'm using, the devil. I'm, I'm, I'm using words, the same words that I'm saying you to defend it. If I understand, she's very angry right now, which is why I told her. Well, I've told her to be quiet. I've, well, I've told her. I've told her. The same um, logic that you used to say. If you tell me my mom is this, my mom is that, there are two things that are happening there. It's either you're lying or my mom is actually, if you say my mom is a hoe, it's either you're lying or my mom is a hoe. If my mom is a hoe, I have a reason to get angry because that is true. true. But if my mom is not a hoe, I don't have to, I'm, I'm listening to you. Because words doesn't hurt me. But when you get physical with it, it shows why you're wrong even more. Let me understand what you're saying. I don't know if me and you have grown up in the same environment or the same place. Clearly we have to. But let me explain something. I grew up in South. When, I, know I, don't, I don't know where you go. In the real world, when you come and insult someone, yeah. maybe it's family you member, no, listen to what I'm saying to you. You're it saying, that, you're saying, can, listen, you're, listen, 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 listen. So you're correct. Think, the wise men will use words. I think that, wise guys, I've been listening to you guys for around six to seven minutes and speaking, and you've been talking to me, right? You were talking to me. I know, I know, I know. You're just going to say the same thing. You're trying to be the bigger man and say, let's just be, let's just be wise and let's speak and let's use words. Yes, but I'm sorry, my brother. In the real world. If you start insulting people to the point where it's actually starting to make them feel bad and they don't like it and they hit you, then you need, if you're man enough to start dishing it out, then you need to be man enough to take what's coming. So, 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 wait, wait, wait. Maybe this is the opinion. I don't expect someone who tries to take the higher ground and say, whoa, you've got physical now, all of a sudden you must have lost the argument. Me, I'm a person, I know violence, yeah? but I know in a control. No, the person definitely. No, no, I'm giving you a point. point. I don't need to be violent, but if you're going to start to say things that's going to upset me and you know that potentially there's going to be a reaction. That doesn't justify you, what you're No, I'm not saying that. No, no, I'm not justifying it. I'm saying that if you go around and start insulting pe things that people are personal to them and they react, who's to blame? You or them? No, them I'm not for actually doing that. Here, I'll, I'll do this. But this is the thing. Know, when you say, Christian if I could say something, this is very important. Because you said who is to blame. And apologies for me sitting down, but my, my knees hurt, okay? So when you say who is to blame, right? That means the other person, because that person is to blame for the situation, is justified in what they're doing to that person. I'm not just, explaining it is not justified. And I'm saying that's the, I'm not, I'm saying, again, I'm saying that's the conclusion of the view. I'm explaining Please, I'm saying that's the conclusion of the view. When you say that this person is to blame, for something that's to be Let done. Why did you push Let that? finish, please. Let okay. finish. One person when you say someone is to blame for an action, I'll give a similar scenario, but since it doesn't have anything to do with our religions, we can analyze it objectively. Let's say a man goes outside an abortion clinic and says abortion is murder on a poster. Women go there to get their abortions, for example, as we all know, and they see this sign that says abortion is murder. This man screams at the top of his lungs, you are killing babies, you are a child murderer. Is that woman justified in swinging at the man? That's provocation, isn't it? Well, is that provocation? Is you walk up to a woman with an abortion. Good question. Why is the man that. Now, here, here's, here's the question. Why are you hold on, hold on, hold on. It's, it's, it's called it's unprovoked. unprovoked. It's unprovoked. You walk up to a random woman and say you're a child murderer. I didn't yeah. walk up. Hold on, hold on. The, situ whatever, you know? the situation was not that. Hold on. Bear in mind, my situation was not that she he walked up to her. All he did was, which is public property, he stood in outside of an abortion clinic. He has a poster that says abortion is murder. And all he does is, due to attacking the institution of the building, he says abortion is murder over and over again. Now, there just so happens that people use the clinic. They go into the abortion center, get their abortion and leave. My question was, in this case, 
is the man to blame for getting hit. No, but in that case, you know, it's a very mild case. It's a mild She's case. far it's from mild. mild. She's extreme. She's, She's radical. Well, well, She's okay. No, man. So then, wait, wait, no, one's like, let me make a point. Let me point. So this yeah, is no, the no, problem. Let me make a point. Because you like, answered my I question, so then I can reply to that. So can I reply to that, please? Can I at least finish what I'm saying? You're, you're making said, a new I statement, said, which said, is I said, about. I said the case that you gave was this analogous to what's happening here. Because you're giving a very. Wait, what he that's gave what an analogy is. Called, that's geez, what an analogy oh, is. Oh, an oh, analogy oh, oh, is. Oh, oh, so oh, an analogy oh, just takes the concepts and distills them to a different case. Degree is not what is needed for an analogy. I could do the exact same thing in like a preschool or something. What the point stands is that we've both accepted that the man in himself isn't to blame. Just by boosting the extremities to, for example, talking about some sort of topic about Trump or something like that, where people actually dedicate their lives to refuting the man or supporting the man, to the point that they actually back out weapons, as we all know, that doesn't change the actual point uh, that uh, that uh, person is isn't that, to blame. That's a question for you. Say your sister or your girlfriend, whatever, you had a abortion, right? I don't have a girlfriend. And she's gone to the abortion clinic, and I walk up to your girlfriend, and I said, you're a baby murderer! You you walk kill up. Oh, bro, let me talk. This is what I hear. Like, you know? Let me talk. I let me talk. Two let, let people finish. Sorry, sir. So, sorry, once again. Sorry, sir. You're some female that you might know, right? She goes to the abortion clinic, she had an abortion, right? And I walk up to her and I get in her face and I say, Do you a baby murderer? You're killing babies and this and that. Even though what I'm saying might be true, would that girl be justified in getting angry with me? Maybe attacking me? I'll ask a question. This is me. Okay, a I'll reply to what he said. So, I will reply to this because what it's doing is being disanalogous. You are changing the situation from the individual standing on public property to him targeting a specific you, individual to do it. My point is now, let me, now, let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Can I reply to the thing that you said? And this is very important. What she does is she goes into a public space which is Speaker's Corner. Now, does she target specific people? No, because she randomly walks around the corner saying the thing. Okay. Now, am I saying that there are people in the corner that will get offended at the words that she says? Yes, the same way that there are people that walk into the abortion clinic and get offended. Right. Your case would stand if she targets specific Muslims. She doesn't do that. She just yeah. walks around the but corner you, you assuming know, that there's an ideology you know, there. Do you know what actually just confuses me? And it's always confusing me, just honestly. Go on, yeah. What confuses me is that you guys know, we're not, let's all just be a bit like, honest with us. You know, in this day and age, when it comes to the Muslim community, when it comes to you insulting the public peace and that is a very sensitive subject to us. Yeah? Same for insulting Christ. No, 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 it's a very sensitive subject to oh. us, yeah? And you know that. Oh. So it's as oh. simple as this. If that you know you're going to push oh, yeah. that button, yeah, then yeah, you, you need to be that. aware of yeah. what may come back to you. And I'm just being black and white. Sure, but that doesn't... No, listen, 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 Whether you agree or you don't, whether you find it, whether you find it, um, if, it's, if, it's, if you don't accept it or you don't, and you find it, it's up to you. I'm trying to tell you anything. Okay. If you want to push that button and you don't like what comes back to you, then all you have to ask yourself is, why did I push it in the first place? So let me ask let's, let's, let's all be respectful and okay. have a conversation mm -hmm. without taking it to a place where you don't want it to go. And this is my problem. I've heard other Christians speak to Muslims and they can have a decent dialogue. About they that topic? Know, they can speak. But when they start to get a bit annoyed or agitated and they start to say things that you know is going to create a problem, I get confused why you, why you think someone's not going to turn around and be like, do you want me to do something? We're not no, saying that that's not going to happen. Just, just, We're saying that it's not you, right that no, it does. Theology. Say, have a conversation. You say the theology and then people get no, angry. No, let's be honest. I you don't say the theology. No, no, no. Yes, we do. You don't say the theology. Actually, that's what exactly what I do. It's not theology. Let's actually, be actually, could be honest. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. What do you, what do you see? Hold on. What does she say? What does she say? She walks around blaspheming Allah. She walks around blaspheming the Prophet. What does she say? What does she say? You know what's funny? You know what's funny? She says the worst thing, and you know what it says in Islam. If you know about Islam, the Prophet peace be upon him says in the narration, you are not Muslim unless you love me more than you love your own parents, right? If someone goes around blaspheming my mum, my mum. It's on. Now, if the prophet told you to go live more than my mom, imagine I went to India. I'm not Hindu, right? But I was not. Like, well, if you're in India, are you going to walk around? Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reply to that. Well, Here's the India, problem. Wait, 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 when wait, wait, you well, say that, this is very important. One, 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 one second. The point you're making is it's my respect. If I go to India, right, 
and they feed those to rush and, 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 and cows and like that. I'm not gonna go around eating beef steak. I'm not gonna go around buying cows. No, you're, you're no, 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 for not because I agree with religion. Not because I agree with religion. It's called respect. Yeah. It's the it's Hindu. Respect. Okay, it's let's in that in that in that case. Wait, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. If I go around now, it's the Hindu right. That doesn't make what they did right. That's the point. What they still did is wrong. What you, what they still did is wrong. What you did is wrong. Hold on, hold on. The point is this: what you're doing right now is justifying why you are attacking that person. Okay, so good, good. So, so you're explaining. Is what you did correct? What did I do? What, exactly what? In the case where you punch a person, make him bleed on his forehead, which is close to his temple. So what that person did was wrong, right? Good, absolutely. Now, all we're doing, hold on, hold on. All we're doing, okay, provoking to be hit. I'm saying she's provoking people. Okay, she's provoking, okay, hold on, hold on. I, hold on, hold on. Let me lean up against this wall, right? Hold on. I, I provoke people all the time with the things that I say. I'm sure we can all look. Hold on, hold on. Hey, please, please. Sorry, uh, listen. I provoke people all the time with the things that I say. And I've had attempts of my life in the corner, for example. Someone has threatened to lay my guts out at this very stage where I'm speaking to you right now. Yes, but did I provoke that person? Okay. No, I did okay, not. On the context, on what the context was we were talking about metaphysics of okay, all things. Yes. Okay. So Metaphysic. what po metaphysics? Like, no. Sorry. So I was I said that his God was changeable, and I said that by the conclusions of the argument I made, his God is not Wait, oh, man, a different conversation, man. So By the conclusions, God damn it, Jeez, of the man. arguments that I'm making, his God is not perfect. Why do you do that? Do you know the problem? Why tell the shot off? You see? Okay. You know, you did to the man. Well, well, no, no, that was unnecessary. I did not get violence. We're talking about violence and words. Yeah, I use words. Yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah. Ray, respectfully. Look, 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 look. You're not from the road. 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 I don't want to go from the road. You're not from the kingdom of God. Yeah, I can't lie. I'm from the road, but I don't act like I'm a road. Thank you. Let's talk tomorrow. He, he, okay, he, this because I let you speak, but listen, no, the aggression, no, the aggression relax, is. Relax. I'm not speaking to you. Brother, 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 if you don't, if you keep going, I'm just gonna tell you to shut up, please. All right, cool. So what I was saying. My goodness gracious! Talk to us. We're having a brief conversation. Like I was saying. I've offended people in the corner because all an offense is is someone does not like the phrase that you said. It doesn't mean that the phrase that I said is objectively offensive. If you have a problem with the statement that she says, if what she is saying is wrong, the same way people come up to me and say Jesus is gay, Jesus is trans, for example, people have made. I know. No, 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 I'm not saying Muslims do. I'm saying. Okay, I'll give you an example. I was at. Yeah, Siraj, for example, in this corner has said that my God came out of a woman's vagina, obviously to provoke Christians, yeah, yeah, right? And now that's disrespectful, agree, yes, not because of the statement itself, but because of the effect it has on the Christian community. When has any Christian tried to punch him? None. Never. Okay. What have we tried to do instead? No, 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 We've no, tried to no, debunk no, the things no, no, that he no, said no, 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 correctly. No, 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 no. Now, I don't, I don't agree with the premise you're trying to set. Because you're saying, what's the premise I'm you're saying? Trying to say just because Because you interrupted what just, I was saying, right? You haven't finished. Well, I wasn't. I, was, I wasn't finished. But I'm willing to pause it because you have something to say. Right. I keep hearing you guys always referring back to, oh, we don't do this, or we don't get physical, or we don't do And you're using that to say, oh. In self defense, I do. Because, yeah, because we don't do that, that means that we're in the wrong because you guys aren't. It's just, no, it's, just it's so I'm not saying you as a community. I'm all saying right, anyone right. that engages saying, in the right, action right, is wrong. Like listen, we all agree. When I said you, I said saying, okay, okay. Violence is wrong. Right, listen, listen. When I, to you, to me, it's not. That's what I'm trying right. to say. Doesn't mean that you're right and I'm wrong. I'm trying to make you understand something. It's simple. You don't have to complicate it. If you don't want to take it there, just try and keep it respectful. And That's why know, I use the abortion listen, clinic listen, example. Listen, listen, because in the abortion clinic finished, example, I finished, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I, I have something that I want to say with the abortion clinic example. Go on. I have a finish. I have a finish. Yeah, go on. You're an adult. You're an adult. Yeah. So you need to be, please. You're an adult, so you need to be a bit more sensible when you speak. If you go and you say in a place where there's Muslims, and you say things that are categorically rude. That you wouldn't even want someone to the say about The same way you say mother. things to unhinge him with pepper spray you know and what? knives I've never, guns. I've, I've never heard a Muslim No, he did not. He interrupted me. Right, Jesus so. Is that, Jesus is this. And you use a... No. Siraj all the time. Listen, listen, Yeah. Listen, what I'm saying to um, you. Shamsi. My brother, yeah. listen, 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 listen. Please. What I'm trying to say, you don't have to complicate it and make it difficult and hard. It's not hard to understand. 
when it comes to you, what comes out of your mouth, you just need to be more aware that if you say certain things, mm -hmm. there may be a reaction that you are not willing to deal with. Question, so so done, simple. Done, done. With the Chris, I think, I think they say he's not. Say, I'm if not you don't say, it, listen to what you said, what he's doing is right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're not letting me finish, bro. Let me finish. Just to know that your hand is very close to my head. I just said you're right. If you punch your mouth, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay. That's way impatient. I'm not interrupting. If you, it's like you. If you walk into like I don't know a boxing gym and you say to everyone, I don't know your mum this, and they knock you out. Whose fault is that? There's a difference between being stupid and being wrong. Exactly. So I'm just trying to say, physics, physics. Why, bro? I know, I know, I know. Hey, someone hold me back. Someone hold me back. Someone hold me back. I'm about to. I'll hold you back. I'll hold you back. What the fuck? Not the person you're trying to be. Okay, sorry, sorry. I'm not trying to beef him, but yeah, go on. Let's go get along. Uh, I want to say that. Let me go get along. Let me finish with you. This guy's moving like Stormzy on a bad day, bro. When I said you weren't from the real world, I'm just saying, be realistic, yeah? Okay. If you're going to say things that are disrespectful and you're going to push the bar. What is disrespectful? And people, and people react, don't be shocked and surprised. Don't be shocked and surprised, but you can still what they're saying is wrong. That's the point. Listen, listen, listen. Before I was a Muslim, before okay. I was a Muslim, hello. I would not walk into a place and hello. start pissing off the Muslims. Hello, That's hello, hello. I don't do that. That's yeah, but then, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I will, and, I, and I understand the analogy that you're giving. And this is the reason why I... Huh? It, no, no, it, it is subjective. That's the point. Yeah, but that's why it's subjective. But here's my problem. The problem is, is... The, oh my... What the hell? Okay, so... The analogies that you keep giving is that they are going into Muslim spaces and trying to offend Muslims personally. If I said your mum is, if I your mum is a cow, that's not subjective. You're going into a mother's space. Yes. Yes. That, yes. Because you're pur hold on, hold on. Because you're purposing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you're. Pur Okay, because you're purposing it for an insult, right? Yeah, now, gonna, here's what I would argue, and I know it's gonna sound crazy. I don't think she's trying to insult any Muslim here, but she's trying to make them leave the religion. Now, the same way that, bro, okay, ask her herself. Hold on, hold on. Are you trying to piss him off? Be honest. No, 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 no. you're trying to piss okay. everyone off. Okay. Excuse me, okay, so, listen to me, listen to me. This is her word. Listen, listen. Spam my face though. A 54, your Muhammad was 54 year old, and he had a sex with a child. And that you that want to worship that but God? But that is not. But, but hold on, hold on. But let let me just stay there. So with that, no, no. See, you see what I mean? So hold on. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Jesus had yeah. vagina. That is okay for Siraj. Uh, so the point she's trying to make is that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. So. Shut up then. Okay, okay, hey, hey. Now that's what you please, yeah. Please. Please. Okay. For them saying anything about Jesus. No, no. Okay, please, please stop. stop. Okay, I'm just gonna keep talking. So with that, with that being said. So, would you be okay with someone having the child sex and sex slaves conversation in a respectful manner? 100%. So, if so I said, for example... I, no, I had to do that. I, I've, said, I've done it before. No, I, yeah. I've heard it being done. I've done it before I became a Muslim. I had to have a conversation. So, is the problem then the fact that... Is the prob Hold on. Is the problem then the fact that she shouts the same information? No, no, no. So, where, so where's the disconnect between... Because this is what my problem is. If the information that she is saying isn't the point of contention, yeah. If it's not the volume at which she's saying that same information is not the contention, where is the contention? I, 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 I the point of contention. Mm. contention she comes to the park, mm. she re reiterates the same talking points, right? Which is just oh, the content like, and the volume. And she is not willing, because I've tried to before, engage people. I spoke to many people in the park before that said nasty things about the prophet, okay. about Allah, okay. and whatnot. And we can have a peaceful conversation. So, okay, so why don't you just what, engage what, with what, her now then? We can have peaceful, because she's not normal. She does not engage. No, All right. No, no, listen. She's, she's not normal. She isn't, she isn't. So, so you just don't want to chat her? You know what I'm saying? Like, that. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Yeah, I get that. Because she's unwilling. Let me let me ask you a question. Yeah, I'll ask a question. Yeah. Because she's unwilling to engage in a subject rationally. Okay. If you try to engage in a rational subject, all she will do is to continue to overshadow you, continue to hold her on and at you, and the crowd. And if I think the reason why we have to do that is because people get interrupted in the corner. Let me finish. The point I make is number one, she does engage the conversation. You've already made that point. Okay, you already made the second really point as well. If you didn't trust me, I'm out of the You don't have to, I know. Okay, the second point, the second point is, if I come into the park, 
And I say, for example, right. all black people are monkeys. All black, all black people are monkeys. No, wait, one second. If I say this stuff, right, and bro? someone comes try to engage me, and I'm, I'm not willing to engage me, and if someone comes and smokes me, I deserve to get smoked. If I come and affect the whole group of people say, black people are monkeys, black people are monkeys, try to talk to me, and I ignore and I keep retraining, I deserve yeah, if you to get smoked. If you go into a predominantly black person. Because I'm from the ends, I'm from real world. You're from the ends. Yes, yes, that means I know what human nature looks like. No, you know what? What depravity looks like, yeah. Dude, that's a that's a okay, dude. That's a bad that's a bad reason. You're just saying I'm from the most depraved parts of the world. Therefore, I'm about to unbox every nigga I see that face me. You get what I'm trying to that's crazy. Now listen, here's what I'm gonna say. Hold on. Like, like I get your point and I get your point, but here's what I'm saying. How about right? I think that she should discuss with you guys on an intellectual level about the same point, right? The problem is, is this, since we're in the corner, and this is if you go to Barbara Park, if you go to Speaker's Corner, if you go to Westgate or Westfield, the problem is, is you have to shout because of A, the volume, and B, let's say you have a point of information you want to bring up and I want to continue speaking. The person that will continue speaking is the person that can just keep going at the volume that they are already. See, that's why she shouts. And if you've seen her for the past couple months, she does the same thing. I've, I've, I've now, popped in, I popped in and out again. Now, and what I'm not, now, here's right what I'm saying. Things. I don't believe, right, that if she's doing it to antagonize Muslims, that that's a bad thing. I judge her the same way I judge Siraj. I don't like that apologetic, but it has its place in the corner. I tell Siraj off sometimes. Siraj I know, I, I tell Siraj off yeah, all okay. the time, and right? I, and as you can see with her, but, I told her to stop. But, but we have to be fair though. And what I'm trying to say is that- I, I already just established yeah, that I was fair. I, that's, all, that's what I said. That's so, what I said. Yeah, in, in this part. In, in yeah, this part, yeah, yeah silent, violent. Well, well done, the voice of reason, the white guy. Anyways, in the park. In ends, violence is the answer though. In ends. But, but that's but, not. But that's why we're in ends. Ends is not a good place to be. It's, it's not a good true. ethic. It makes you grow up, though. It makes you realize what life's about. Not, what it makes you be cautious. It doesn't if make I, you if good. If I came to the park every week and yeah. I shine, Jesus is gay, Jesus is transsexual, and you try to engage me and I ignore you and right. I keep repeating if the same lies again, again. You, I wouldn't. You. I wouldn't blame someone for smoking me. I'll I'll I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't blame someone for smoking. I don't think it's right to be smoked, though. I just think that. Here's what I'm saying. Both individuals in the case are wrong. Is what I'm saying. If I came to the park, because this is the analogy. You already said the analogy and this is why I this is why I already bro I referred to the answer I said before when I told you about the abortion analogy you didn't take into account that abortion is a central part of many women's lives right. many women cry get depressed and even go suicidal because of abortions right. because it's a very you know controversial thing it's a, it takes place inside your body sometimes you're convinced by the arguments that you are genuinely killing another people person I agree with that argument but the point is this those people are irrevocably changed by that action for someone to stand outside of a building with an abortionist murder son and scream you are a child killer you are child killers even though he's not articulated towards the specific women that are entering he is offending that woman but the message that he's saying is not for the purpose of offending that woman it's so that the woman doesn't go and commit abortions the same way that even though the methodology may seem brazen same with Siraj and other people it's out of love even though you will never in any sense interpret it like that right you're assuming it's not to offend a person how do you know the person's attention how do you know that I hate you because how do you know that I hate you well I don't hate you wait 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 I I know the question that you're saying by the way I I know I I know the question that you're saying some come to the park I understand the question and they think Rod this lady's out here they 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 interpret that understanding but yeah to expose the devil that's all my behavior Okay, now that's the problem. So, no, no problem. But and when I that, expose the devil, he will get angry. I know that's that. That's the issue. Okay. Now, here's the issue, right? right? The reason why I would say she's doing it out of love is by two people's there two presuppositions. One, I presuppose that she's an apologist, which I don't need to presuppose. We, we know she's an apologist. And two, she's specifically a polemicist, which means that she attacks ideologies. Now, with those things being said, the same way that Siraj antagonizes multiple individuals and sometimes have come to blows you, with Siraj is the same way that has been done with. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? But I hold on. But, 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 but listen, but listen, but listen, listen. But I do agree that a simple. The same thing that the same thing you're arguing. Like, like sister, for example, can I ask you a question, sister? Can I ask you a question? Would you be willing to? Would you go to a Muslim country and still say what you're saying? Would you go to a Muslim country? My dear, majority is Muslim. Your Muslim country. Even here, they are behaving as if they own the country here. Your Muslim people, 
have a demonic attitude in every country. They have a demonic attitude in every country. It's a response to the question, but maybe she understood. Would you go Would you go, for example, would you go to... I'm in England, I'm not in Muslim country. No, no, I know, I know, I know. I know you don't live in Muslim country. Would you, would you, would you go to... I don't know, would you go to... Hold on, would you go to Algeria? Let's say, okay, would you go to Morocco and preach the exact same way? Yeah. Do, do you think I have to abide by the laws of the country or not? Well, I do think that, yeah. Yes. So you have, you're bound by the Christian principle. I'm in England, I'm not in Morocco, I'm not in Saudi Arabia, so I'm you not would in go, Pakistan. So you would, so I'm in England, free country, okay. I have the free speech to talk. Okay. So in so far, so, and I understand, I understand why she said that, and there's, there's a thing that I need to explain. So there is a passage in the Bible that actually talks about what she's saying. Basically, in the Christian countries that we live, we do need to adhere to the laws of the land that we are present in, in so far as they have been instituted there. Now, if the laws of if the laws of the land allow for the speech that she's saying, then she would say it. But if the laws of the land would not permit that, basically every other Muslim country on the face of the planet, then she would literally, by biblical standards rather than societal, not be able to do that. The same way. No. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Well, yeah, because there are certain stipulations in the communities, right? So the same way I wouldn't be able to talk about um, against Islamic metaphysics in Saudi Arabia is not because of the law in Saudi Arabia, but principally because of the Bible, which says that I can't contravene what they say. If yeah, so yeah. if there was a yeah, country but, that said yeah, it then... Yeah, but then at the same time, it would make, it would make I sense to yeah, yeah, yeah. the laws of the land. Yeah. And then, and then like, if you know But that's because of the Bible doing that, not because of I'm because obeying the commandments. Like because of like the Bible. Yeah, so, and because, it's a, so because it used to be a Christian country and it's becoming increasingly secular, if I went to here, America, any Scandinavian country on the face of the planet, certain parts in Turkey where the governmental laws are a bit different, regionally speaking, if I went to Azerbaijan, for example, Russia, not Somali or Somaliland. Um, any of those countries, even African countries, I could maybe go to Northern Nigeria, but I would probably get killed for doing it. But I would do the same thing. But the point is, is that it's because the stipulations in those countries permit me to do so. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I agree with the points that both individuals are saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I understand that whole understand. But when he says to me, I don't believe violence at all, that's his opinion. Yeah? That's just because someone That's the law. That's the law, though. That's the law. 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 No, no, but we get what you're saying. No, no, no. Because if you go to certain places, the law is different. Yeah, you can organize fights though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know you can. I know you can. I, I live in this areas. No, 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 no. If he goes to a Hindu country, will he go and preach about he's saying, against Hinduism? He's saying no. Huh? He's saying no. Otherwise, why is asking me? They're talking about that. That's my point. Yeah. There are places you can make fight in legal. I understand what you're saying, my boy. You can do things in a legal environment. Exactly. So here's the point of conversation that we would say. If I was able to convince her to have a conversation with you about the things that she talks about in the corner, would you take on that conversation? As well. That's a point. Here, expecting to hear Jesus because you said that she doesn't want to have a conversation. No, 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 there are people that are taking things out of God outside the court. So be sensible, and if you want to get your point across... Sensibility is key. I don't know, bro. I've never seen it in my life. Hold on. Yeah. 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 I, think, I think the point was made pretty well. You know what I'm saying, but you keep resorting to the violence. No, I'm saying that someone will make... I know what the conversation was. That's what I'm saying. Let's be respectful of someone's beliefs. You do not come to the park just attacking our person. No, always not. The violence is not the 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 leading answer. Of it's not the principle. Let me give you an example. You know, Let me give you an example. Hey, I never got to speak. I never got to speak. What are you gonna say? I never got to speak. I never got to speak. I never got to speak. Let's go on. Go ahead. Okay. Let's say, all right, we all have a lot more in common than we have. What's different, all right? Okay. That's true, all right? That's not what we're talking about now. There's, there's, there's. 
<laughs> there's irrational people. There's irrational people. There's, 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 bro, this is cooked, bro. This is cooked. I was trying to bring humor. Yeah, yeah. We could have bring humor together. This guy's no face jacket. He's tired, bro. I'm telling you. But it's not my jacket, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Bro, he's never got party ears on a Saturday. Hey, this guy's way for ages. No, no, no. I'm listening to everything he's saying, bro. I'm just trying to say. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm, I'm, I'm with you right now, bro. The mic is yours. The mic is yours. You must be heard, my lemon tea. Yeah, go on, go on. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Oh, see, now it's not going to hit. Allow it. Allow oh, my. It. oh, my God. <laughs> say what you want to say, dog. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We, we want to hear you. We've all got the same. We agree. Look, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave now. I think the topic of conversation has been... I think deep down, you know the truth. But what you're doing is you're I could literally her. say What's the same thing you? about you. Like, you it is not really a... You can reply, you can reply. Okay. You're doing the chopping. I think deep down, you're a smart guy. Well, be, you know what we're saying. To be fair, you know, no, I when, can't, when I you debate with people, you, you, you understand to keep it at a level where we're both respectful. You both get your point across. And even if you've got a point to make, you make it in a way where you're not going to antagonise the situation. But he's now calling... He's saying he knows he should be Muslim. That's what he's saying now. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Like, I think mean, I mean, you know... I think you know the truth. But I think mean, you're just trying to protect her. Yeah, that's just something. Can I finish what I was going to say? Yeah, go on. You know what we're saying uh -huh. makes sense. Uh -huh. That she's walking around the park, she's antagonizing people, she's provocative. Oh, sorry, but rather than you, the rather, <laughs> but rather, rather than you being sincere, ah. you're being a tribalist and you're backing Christian sister because maybe yeah, that's a pragmatic. You're, you're being, being a tribalist. We're not looking for you. Don't you don't keep trying to protect her. It's like it's like it's like you're scared to hear what I'm going to say. Because I didn't finish. Let me finish one point. How is this fair? He said something, so I listened. You did it again. You did it again. You did it again. Like, I'll let you finish. Do you just give me the same respect? I have. The whole time. Okay, so my point is, if you are sincere, like, I believe you should be in Christianity, what you would probably do is, the same way we were pulling Sarah saying, bro, stop that. That's not the way to go. La la, this stuff. You would be the same thing. But instead of doing that, what you're doing is, you're doing sophistry, trying to defend her and her actions. Because I think deep down, you see some pragmatic value what she's doing. Antagonizing Muslims, starting beef, making Muslims look bad. And I think it's insecure you. I think she could do better than that. All right, great. Is that, that's the, that's the point. She can do what she wants. Okay, so, what did I, hold on, hold on. So, let me show you. Can I say, hold on, hold on. She's the lower echelon of the Christian people here. Oh, I've just lost it. <laughs> Anyway, so look, you didn't see what I did on the camera. Siraj went away and I pulled her away this way. I held this bad guy from trying to swing on people. I did my due diligence. So for you to say that I'm being insincere simply by not agreeing with you, I think that's what I'm saying. You said if I agree with, if I'm sincere, I would understand what you're saying, which means you want me to agree with you. I never said that I didn't understand what you're saying. I did. I disagree. So I'm not being insincere. All right, good. So if you were Sincere, you would not only understand what I'm saying, but you would also understand that the actions by which have been committed were wrong. Which what you've done is saying, well, she should expect it. Yeah. It's like if I told hold up, it's like it's like this. You're, what you're doing is victim blaming. It's like if I said to someone that got raped, hey, what were you wearing? You should have been raped because of what you did. Now, in some sense, it was more likely that she would have been raped. Should she have been raped? Absolutely not. Are you going to hop into this? Did I say anything? Nah. Did I say anything? Did I say anything? Did I say anything? Point of violence? Oh yeah, take it. Because I debated with his friend Mansour. Did I say any point of violence was justified? Mansour was good. Bro, did I any point say the violence was justified? No, no, no. I'm wrong. I'm asking if it's right or wrong. I know I said any point was justified. You don't need to justify right or wrong. I said the same thing he said. I said it's understandable. I never said any point is justified. There are times you don't need to justify. So you sure, mammy, that right now? I didn't say that it's justified. I said it's right or wrong. I didn't say that. So what was the what was the mic drop moment there? I, I'm about justification. I said it's right or wrong. They were wrong for being violent. You agree? Yeah, I did. Right. So then yeah. this conversation doesn't need to happen then. Yeah. Now we can shake hands. <laughs> I'm not ego, but I still like it, bro. I don't have a. I think I. I don't know. I would. I would say I think, that. I think it's good. That everyone. Relative. Here. Relative to a human being, I would have ego, but I try to suppress it every day. I got ego, and I, and I try to every day. But you have like my, you were my, talking my about my boy with the the Trinity and like doctrinal development, right? Which the. The tall brother, the Irish guy. Anyway, my my still point is, I think it'd be better if there was less fight between know. Muslims and the Christians apart. Well, Fred, I guess we are done. Moral of the story: Guys. don't commit actions of violence.
Guys, this is every week, you know. Uh, we all left. Okay, so uh, uh, what happened was just a little while ago, there were a big group of Arab Muslims who had uh, tried to assault Shalini, uh, who's right here. So three of us Christians were trying to block them. Uh, from you know, you know from from coming to her and they were hurling abuses uh, while she was at the back of us and these the crowd was surging towards us um, one of the Muslims because he saw me filming as well um, uh, I was on my mobile phone I was trying to take a video so he saw that he was getting irritated um, he tried to kick me um, instead of him reaching me as he tried to kick me he he slipped and fell down even before he reached me and that made him all the more wild he got up immediately and then tried to um, attack me. Uh, he hit me, punched me in my face, and um, and and uh, there was some bleeding as well. Um, I got first aid. But uh, what happened was, uh, as soon as this guy attacked me, he he went away. We went to the police. The uh, uh, made a statement. Um, the guy was nowhere to be found. He had a mask on his face and he was trying to hide his identity. Uh, while he was attacking me, there were a lot of Muslims around. Some were actually pushing other Muslims to go and, and fight. And, um, you know, I, I think, I guess uh, there were some Muslims who just came in between and, uh, and prevented the attack from getting even worse. But anyway, I'm, I'm fine. Thank God. Praise God. And whoever the person is who attacked, um, that's the model that, that he's um, uh, em emulating the prophet that he's emulating however okay so uh, that's the example that that man is emulating he's emulating his prophet um but we emulate jesus uh, jesus told us to love our enemies i don't have any hatred for him um and i forgive him for what he has done and i pray that one day he will come back to the he will come to the truth and he will come to understand that jesus christ is lord and jesus didn't preach hate jesus preached love and forgiveness and that's what he commands us to do and I love and I forgive whoever attacked me wherever it is um, uh, that, that's what I practice with my God taught me thank you and God bless